Hi guys, Peter Finch here and this is my weekly Quest for 350 video and what I wanted to do today was actually just see how far I'm hitting it in reality at this moment in time. So in February, getting into the start of the season, which I would class as kind of late March, I want to see how far I'm actually hitting it with real ball data. At the moment, I've been using very closed data on the flight scope and the uh, GC2 and the HMT launch monitors just to see how far I'm actually hitting it. Now on the GC2, uh, a couple of days ago, I recorded my longest drive so far this year, which was 338. Some uh, kind of pictures should be coming up on the screen now, which I was very, very happy with. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use a combination of the, ninth, the D3 um, and the R15, two drivers which I'm still kind of playing around with. But I'm going to use real balls and real ball data using the Flyscope X2 to see how far I am hitting it at this current moment in time. Now the wind of the driving range here is kind of off my left hand shoulder, slightly across and slightly with, probably just slightly more across. So I'd expect to see a little bit of a, a faded ball flight, well, a left to right ball flight today. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit some balls with the 915, some balls with the R15 and see where I get to. I'm also gonna be focused very much today on trying to get a little bit of a squat, a little bit of a turn up, but also hitting very up on these balls today. Something which I wanna give a go, just so I can get it launching as high as possible. Especially with this wind, it should give me a little bit more distance. Right guys, stay tuned as always. I'm gonna hit the balls, show you the swings, and then we'll have a look at the data later on. I'm gonna start with the 915, and then crack on from there. Right guys, so just doing a look at these numbers and I have to say I've actually hit the ball pretty well today. Um, a few really kind of weird and wild and wonderful shots at times, but all in all, I actually hit the ball pretty well. And this is the first time, like I said, I've actually really analyzed my long drive shots using real ball data. So just using the real environment, not the closed set of parameters, which I have been using. And I've got to be honest, I'm relatively happy. Uh, with how it's actually looking. For a cold February day in Manchester, I'm pretty pleased. Now, these are my 915 numbers. My average carry was 297. Uh, I had quite a few just getting up towards the 300 mark, but not quite getting there. My average total was 307. Uh, all my drives there with my 915, they were all over 300 yards in total distance, which I'm relatively, I'm quite happy about really. I can't really complain at that too much in this time of year. Um, a couple of really kind of wild ones, especially one a long way off to the right hand side. I actually hit that all right and it seemed to carry on the wind a little bit more out in that way. I actually shot the ball very well with 
kind of almost a little bit of a right to left movement in most parts it actually kind of counteracted the wind quite a bit looking back i should have maybe used it a little bit more but there is a road off to the right hand side of the driving range and i don't think i would have gone down very well going through to one the windscreen so that was my kind of average with the 915 the d3 and yeah, I'm pretty happy. The spin rates were incredible, really, uh, for what I'm actually trying to do. I mean, the spin rates were average at 1.6, well, 1.599, just under 1.6. 1.7 is probably going to be about the optimum um, that I can actually achieve. So maybe a little bit below on a few of them, but overall, generally very, very happy. Now, switch over to 9.15 numbers. And considering I wasn't massively 100% on 915 because I hit the D3 first. I'm going to change that around next week. I'm going to hit the, D, the, the R15 first and not the 915. However, my average carry jumped to over 300 yards. There's a little bit more loft on the 915. And you can kind of see when it flies. It doesn't come out with a great amount of spin. It holds its kind of flight very, very true during the air. And I think that definitely helped today, especially with the wind kind of coming off the left. It just seemed to carry that more through the air. Now, my total distances jumped as well, up to 310. I had a couple of squiffy shots again, but in general, I think I had the R15 a little bit better today. Uh, the smash factor is much better with the R15. That's the same as last time. I need to figure out why that is. Clubhead speeds, again, kind of similar-ish today, but slightly lower. I only got the one over 120 yards with the R15. But one of the big differences here, I've definitely hit my longest drive in uh, open data, so to speak, using real ball flight data, 321, uh, which is today is absolutely fantastic, honestly. I'm very, very happy with that. If that was in the close set of parameters, I reckon that had been over 330, getting up towards probably the 340 mark, which I achieved the other day on the GC2. So overall, very, very happy with the total distances. I mean, I've had a 313, a 321, 311, 315, 316, 315. Some really good drives there with the R15. And what I was really, really focusing on, the spin number's a little bit higher with the R15. There's one that really kind of skewed it, which again, kind of, it was a bit of a funny ball flight, actually. I'm not really sure about the ball I used there. But in general, my spin rate's there. Very, very good. So I'm kind of very, very happy. I've got to be honest, I'm pretty pleased with the, my morning's work there. Some really good stuff to unpack. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Yet again, please comment in the box below. Like the video and share it around. And thank you so much for joining me on this little quest that I'm on. I really, really do appreciate it. More videos coming up as usual. And guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.